Hello everybody and welcome to your 25th C++ Made Easy HD tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be learning about type defs and enums okay so this is going to be this is a, a, a kind of like a relief tutorial it's going to be a really 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 easy tutorial so uh yeah get ready okay so type def is really easy you say type def and you put the variable type and you can change to any other um name you like to so say for example i didn't i want to refer to my new integer data types as int or i i could declare any new uh, in, uh integer data type as i um in the future so for example uh you know how we would say like int x equals 10 and we could um display it in this case i could say i and then I say x equals 10 so our variable our type is still int it's like an alias for the um the name int right so it's sub is subbing it in so it doesn't replace it it just subs it in and then so if I was to run this I would still get the value 10 so what are type defs good for? Well, type defs are good for if you want to like shorten a variable name or uh, they can prove to be valuable um in like with templates and stuff when we get into them but uh you might not i don't know how much you'll be using them it de really depends on what you're designing or um what type of programmer you are but uh yeah that's how you create enums so that's easy enough so one minute and 40 seconds has passed and we've just learned one thing new okay so uh if we look at in uh, let's look at enums now so enum is declared by saying enum and you put in any type you want so let's say color Okay, so or yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna say um black, blue, green, red, white, um purple, etc. And we end it by doing a semicolon, right? So we could um we can do it like this. Anything within these uh square brackets are declared, right? So think of okay our data type is color so um think of this as like if we if integers are data type right uh now we have a we've basically created a new t data type called color okay and uh these are the different things that we can set our data type equal to right so um enums by default set each value to a constant numerical value starting from zero so black would be equal to zero uh, blue would be equal to one as you can see green equals to two etc etc now what happens if I set black equals to 50 say 52 and I don't set anything to these well whenever you set a numerical value to um to one value the next value is gonna be plus one the previous value so blue will be equal to 53 this will be equal to 54 so if I decide to make this equal to 75 then it's gonna be 53 54 75 76 77 okay so that's how enums work so since enums are, are are constant numerical values you can easily say that um i could have a new variable called um colors and i can set it equal to black right or i could set it to color colon colon black wait wow come that's not working okay i don't know why but we could set it as explicitly to black right and um and nothing would happen because we're just setting it to a numerical value right so uh the the color is also a data type so even if i didn't want to make this of type n i can make it of type color so of type color um colors is equal and we could set it equal to black like i could set colors equal to blue uh equal to blue or etc etc i could set it equal to two I, or like well actually we would get an error because it's of data type color so if you want to um that's a good thing to note because i i didn't even take that in but that's a good thing to note so if you only want something to um work with the enum that you've created then what you'll do is that created of the enum type and you can only set it equal to one of the enum types that you've um, specified in here now if you want it to uh if you created an integer type then you can go by the enums values or you can go by any numerical value etc etc uh but that basically sums up how enums work 
and so now you've learned about type defs and enums and the next tutorial is going to be really exciting because we're going to finally learn about classes so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and bye